you. Gingerbread socks. <laughs> so yes, I have finished them. It is the 22nd of December of recording this on the Thursday and they are all done. So I am going to give these a nice soak this afternoon and then block them and then I'm going to wrap them up so they're all ready to be opened Christmas morning as a little present to myself to wear my new Christmas socks on Christmas Day. So if you've just joined me, hello, welcome. These are the gingerbread socks, West Yorkshire Spinners. And I've done a contrast cuff, heel and toe. And they're just as they self-stripe. So yeah, loving those, really excited to be wearing them. So they can have a nice bath. Now I've only got one on the sock blocker because not such good news. I was sorting out the house this morning, tidying up, putting a load of wash on and when I went to take the washing out of the machine at 40 degrees and a normal wash, I found this. <laughs> this does not go in the washing machine at 40 degrees on a fast spin. So yeah, I think it's okay. It doesn't seem to, it seems a little bit loose on the blockers, not too loose. So I'm hoping it's going to be fit. It's only one. I think it's probably trapped in a tr trouser leg or something, wasn't it? So yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. It is a West Yorkshire Spinners one, so it's usually a bit tougher. And I usually wash my socks in the machine, but usually on a wool cycle at 30 degrees with a short, slow spin, not the super speedy spin. So yes, we shall see when I try this one on with the sister. <laughs> we'll see if they both fit the same. The trouble is, if it is a little bit looser, if I put the other one in on one of those washes, there's no guarantee it come out the same, is there? It might shrink. I've heard other people say that where two things have gone into exactly the same wash, they come both come out totally set differently. So yeah, I suppose it depends if it's trapped with other things and a bit protected or whether it's on the side, slapped against the side <laughs> as it spins round. So yes, we shall see what happens with that one, but I'm glad my socks are done. So how are yours coming along? By my timetable, they sh you should be on the toe to be finished by Christmas. So I hope you're up to date. I know a lot of people have been finishing them. I've seen some people on Instagram. Um, Simply in Stitches on Instagram. Hashtag Simply in Stitches. If you want me to find your post, put your socks on there so I can have a look at them because I really love seeing what you're all up to. So yes, that'd be great if you can do that. In one of the comments before, Thank you for all your comments, by the way. It's been lovely to read them all. I'm trying to keep up to date with them. But in a comment, I can't remember your name, I'm sorry. But somebody said they were going to use my little timetable for the month of where you should be to get the pair of socks finished next year to do their year of socks. So every month, work to that to make sure they're on track. And I thought, that is a brilliant idea. I should do that because... I made that video with 10 sock patterns, so I'm probably going to do a pair of socks a month next year, so I should work to that as well. So thank you for that idea, I shall be using that. So start a new pair off on the 1st and then should be finished by, what date was it? Yeah, start the first ones off on the 1st, the second pair should be started about the 11th. So yes, I'm going to work to that timetable. So thank you very much for that idea. I will steal that from you. <laughs> Is it stealing? If it came from me and you used it and now you're using it differently and I'm following you, is that stealing? Or is that just working together as a team? <laughs> we just bounce ideas off each other, don't we? That's the best way to do it. Okay, so my socks are off the needles now. So my mind is turning to other things. And the thing that my mind's turning to now is my cast on for Boxing Day. That's the 26th of December, if you're not in the UK. We call it Boxing Day. It's a bank holiday for us. And so I'm going to join in with the Stephen West cabin shawl. So I'm going to be doing the cosy cabin one, which is the warm tone so he has got i put pictures up he's got a beautiful blue one that i was very tempted to do 
which has got more of a cold look about it, but I love all the blues. But then he had this warm cabin one that's got all the red earthy tones to it. And I thought, yeah, I'd like to do an earthy tones one. So that's the one I'm going to do. I've shown you my yarn before. So this is what I'm going to be using. So these are my colors that I've based on his palette and they are the Drops 100% Alpaca. So it's a four ply and you need 100 grams of five different colours. So it's coming out quite bright on there. It's called a burgundy and it is a burgundy. So I'll say what colours they should be because I don't know what order to do them in because originally I was going to start off doing them in the order that he's got his but because these colours aren't my colours and they don't really do a lot for me this one isn't too bad I don't think I think I should try wearing this colour and this one if it was a bit I can't do salmon pink and this is a, a corally salmon pink I would say so I really like the coral, but I don't know how good I am at wearing it. And this one definitely isn't my colour. So I wanted to have this more of this against my skin tone. So where it's the shawl starts, I wanted this to be quite at the top. I'm good with this colour as well, I think. And off white's good for me. So I'll show you that what what colours he was saying, so A should be cream, B is gold, so I've got this one as my gold, C is pink, this was supposed to be a yellow on Wool Warehouse, it's more of a pistachio, I call it a, like a lime, like I want to call it dull lime but that doesn't sound very nice muted lime so that is instead of my pink which i thought was going to be yellow then red so this i was having as my red because instead of brown i was having the maroon because i was going by the colors that were available all with the alpaca so that's what i thought would be best for me Looking at the shawl, I really love that bright edging. So I definitely want one of the brighter colours on the edge. So I was wanted either the coral or that lime on the outer edge. So I want to try and marry that up with, yes, I am overthinking this, marry that up with having these colours at the top. So can I get the A, B, C, D, E in order so I can have these at the top and one of these at the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a quick slurp of coffee so at the top he starts off to help me so I don't get confused I have got them written down on cards so let's move the coffee out of the way right so it starts off with A so A is cream cream good we'll go with cream for A and then it goes on to B, which is the camel colour. So we should be okay with that. So C, really, I wanted to have the red, the burgundy colour. But it's telling me it wanted the pink, which is this one. So I would be starting off with these three. So I want to change this one to this one. So that would be my C, which means that D and E are going to be that one. So that means I it would be okay for that edging if it finishes in a D or an E. So let me just flip to the back. So it says it recommends the shawl to be finished in D. So that's excellent. So I said D is the coral. So I think I'm going to have that as the coral. That means that this one is going to be the brown. So where does the brown? So 
the most part of the brown is in this section here and I think that is with the original pink that big brown section is using E and A Do I want that section, the big section, to be that colour? <laughs> I don't think I do. Oh no. But I prefer it to be that colour, big section. Maybe I could have that as the D. If I had that as D, so that would be the edging. And then A and then E. Yeah, because then I'd have that big border of those two colors. The other stripe section further up, which is the red, is the D and the C, which should have been red and pink. That would now be the burgundy and that green. So that would be nice. So the two big sections, I'd have one section of this and then the other one would be the E and the A. So that would be up there and that would be down there. Yes, my two favourite colours would have prime spot. So I think I'm going to go for that now. Which cards do they come from? <laughs> right, so cream's A. That's E. Oh no. That's that one. That's D. Yes. So that's C. That's D. Have you got that? <laughs> you don't need to know it. Are you doing this, Sure. What colour are you doing yours? I'd love to know if you are. But um, don't make me jealous though. Don't make me think that I've chosen the wrong colours. <laughs> so I'm going to write this down so I know my order so I can start it off on the 26th of December in bed <laughs> with a cup of tea. So hopefully I will have a little video to show you me starting but we shall see how we go. At the moment we have no plans for Boxing Day so it should just be a chill out day so I should get lots of knitting done I'm hoping. Now I'm all sorted I'm going to be casting that off in bed on Boxing Day morning if all goes to plan. We've got, we haven't got any plans at all so that means I should have a good day of just knitting and relaxing and get a good chunk of that going so it would be nice if I could just turn the camera on and just show you how far I've got. I'll also put a picture up on Instagram. I am trying with Instagram I know. <laughs> Now we're in the holidays, I hopefully I'll put some hopefully I'll put some pictures up of how I'm getting on because I'd love to follow that to see how everyone's different colours are. I'll have to look up the hashtag for it. I don't know what Stephen's hashtag is. I'm also really tempted, and I know I shouldn't, and I keep telling myself no, but Amanda from Ma Amanda from Mouse's Makes. Amanda Mandy. I shall write it here. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I'm thinking Amanda. I don't know. We call her Mouse because that's her nickname and then I won't be in trouble. So <laughs> Mouse's Mates is going to have an informal knit along for the Stephen West Snowflake Shawl and I really love that one as well and it's only two colours and that's going to be running for two months. It's literally only a week after, it starts the 1st of January, week after I'm casting this one on and this is 500 grams. So that's a lot of knitting, isn't it? But I would like to join in with that one. We'll see. We'll see what Father Christmas brings me. If Santa brings me some yarn that is suitable, then maybe I'll cast it on. Or if Wool Warehouse has a sale on, I may order some. <laughs> we'll see. But I am very, very tempted. I would like to knit that one because it does look really nice. So we should see. And it's got a bit of brioche in and I've never knit brioche. And I think I should just give it a go once. I should just give it a go. So 
yeah i might join in with that we'll see about that one but for now i'm already excited for this one so i'm going to be carrying on with this one i better say goodbye for now because i've got lots to do i have done my food shopping the food shopping is done i went to audi this morning I got there just after nine o'clock and I got out just before 10. I got a parking space right outside the door. Everything was calm inside there. There wasn't, there was plenty of room. There wasn't a lot of people in there. It seemed a bit spooky actually because there wasn't a lot of people on the roads either. It's like, where is everybody? I thought it was going to be busy, <laughs> but I'm glad it wasn't. Everybody was really nice. They sort of, after you? No, after you. Well, thank you very much, which is really nice because generally the elbows start coming out Christmas time, doesn't that? So, yes, <laughs> season of goodwill, not when you're shopping and you've got all these thoughts about what you need in your head. But it was all very nice in there. So I had my shopping. Um, I don't know if... It's the same round where you are if you're in the UK, but we seem to have a bit of a petrol shortage going on round here. I don't know if it's just because everyone's filling up ready for Christmas, but I know my husband had trouble getting diesel last weekend and I had a bit of trouble getting some unleaded today. So I had to go to two garages before I actually got some, which wasn't good. So don't be like me. If you're in the UK, <laughs> don't be like me. Don't wait until you're on the red to find out the garage hasn't got any petrol. <laughs> so I'm all filled up now. I'm okay for the foreseeable future. So yes, keep an eye on that. As soon as you start getting a little bit low top up, just in case. I'm sure there's not a problem. It's just literally through being delivered or yeah, just demand. The prices have gone down a bit again. So I think I went to the cheapest one to start with, obviously, and they'd sold out first. So I had to go to the dearer one, but at least it's a lot better than it was. But enough about this. You haven't come here for petrol prices. I shall see you tomorrow. After I've wrapped all my presents, my house will be spotless and I'll be all ready. Maybe not. <laughs> Bye for now.